reason we are here is to support, encourage and enthuse those of you in the audience who can make a difference, who can make it happen on the long and arduous journey that we've touched many, many times. It's very much about the next generation of guys who are going to be the next future dragons. It's about new dragon's blood, so to speak. I think the media pioneers are brilliant. And what's been amazing for me is meeting the, the pioneers afterwards and the questions they have. It's really exciting to see them just starting their businesses. It reminds me of when we used to do it. Yeah, and I guess although we're all entrepreneurs, uh, have been labelled entrepreneurs, uh, it's great to meet so many others. It's very much about catalysing our economy with smart ideas, creativity, not necessarily cash, getting the message out about your business, not just to your next door neighbour or to your town or to your city, but to the world. And if it's a great idea, impossible is nothing, just do it, make it happen. A great portion of my success has been my general willingness to have a coffee with anyone. You do not know who you do not know. You do not know what's going on beyond the face of the person in front of you. I spend most of my time working with young entrepreneurs. Problem is I can talk for Jesus, can't I? I think that for most young entrepreneurs, they probably don't realize they can do it. They tend to lack or worry about whether they should have confidence or not. Most people don't know what they're talking about when they tell them they can't do it. They can safely ignore them. The only person you really have to listen to in life is a customer. Everyone else, I would just tune them out. Any entrepreneur who stands up in front of you and describes their life history, as many have, as like a gazelle leaping from one mountaintop to another, as though it had been an effortless, wafting, lifting climb, is a liar and a revisionist. There's no such thing. There's a little bit of luck, there's a little bit of a following wind, there's people who lend you a hand, there's weirdos who you should say hello to that you don't know are the next great thing coming along. As an entrepreneur, you have to rub your flesh raw and be sensitive to everything that's in front of you and around you at all times, because the future is all around you at every moment. Most of my success in business has come down to someone sticking their neck out and giving me an opportunity. Money is purely a byproduct of how great you are at doing something. And whether that's a teacher, whether that's a social worker, whether it's an entrepreneur, whatever, it's a byproduct of that. There are what I call entrepreneurial people who have not necessarily started a business, but their whole personality, their character, is something entrepreneurial about them. You might even find them in corporate structures. And those people identify with the entrepreneurial spirit. Really try and seek those people out, because those people are going to help you on that rocky road going ahead. Uh, Virgin Media Pioneers has opened up a lot of doors for me. Um, you know, it's provided a lot of opportunities and, and put me in a lot of situations that I would never have been in without it. Uh, I think it's been awesome and, and you know, I look forward uh, to remaining a part of it and helping the community grow over the next uh, few months, years, into the future. As a new pioneer, I'm really excited about you know, connecting with um, young entrepreneurs. I'm really looking forward to um, you know, using my camera and do some video blogging for the first time. Never done that before, but I'm really looking forward to it. For me personally, uh, Virgin Media Pioneers is all about building your network and trying to uh, engage other people and learn stuff as you go along, uh, meet new people and find different ways of uh, communicating. Let's make it happen. Thank you very much indeed.